Well, good morning. Hello. It's Chris here in Oklahoma. I have been sicker than a dog. I flew up to Michigan for Christmas and caught something up there and was pretty much in bed the whole time. And then I flew back here to Oklahoma and, man, I tell you, I had World War III going on in my head. I caught the flu and all that, but I'm pretty much over it, so I haven't been doing much out here in the garage. I'm just trying to get healthy with vegetable drinks and vegetable powder and baby spinach and and uh, everything I can think of to, to get healthy and I think I'm pretty much over it. Hot showers really help too. So got this uh, Vixia camera Canon and i um, out here in the garage and I managed to uh, yesterday I I took that old those old LED project box deals down and I had this gray conduit box outlet outside weatherproof thing and uh, I said oh hell I'll just rewire it and and uh, mount, mount it up it's still pretty chilly out um, so here we go. So I hacksawed the holes in there for the little printout deals. And that actually turned out pretty good. And I used a little bit of uh, uh, magic glue, quick, or whatever that stuff is called. You know what I'm talking about. Super glue. And mounted it in there. Used um, crimp on connectors, a little bit of solder in some of the areas, and ran some of the stuff into the channel here. And also threw on a switch here for for the battery portion of it, so you can turn turn the battery on and off. Like I don't care if the solar is on or off or whatever. That's just on its own own power. But you know, just to conserve a little bit of little juice here, I just threw a switch in here, and I got a couple extra switches I can throw in in that spot right there. But it seems to be uh, you know went in pretty good. I like it. It's tough. Looks looks a little bit more heavy duty. Aesthetically, it looks looks pretty nice. You can see the kid here as it gets closer in. There we go. I'm already fully charged, so and the fridge just turned on, so it's gonna bounce back up real quick here on voltage. Good unit. And with this HD camera. I can get in here a little bit closer, show you some of the stuff I did, wiring wise, kind of tied it up there. Those are those big fat honking marine grade switches, those are, I still love those. Electrical hazard. Of course the ground there, so the grounding rod sunk right behind this wall here, goes down about six feet or so. Then those wires there for from the charger and accessories. That's that big honking fuse I got in here. Let me pull this off. I got a 200 amp bus type fuse in there just to protect the batteries. We're in zero gauge in, in there. Of course the kill switch for the inverter. Safety first. And there's my batteries. Everstart Max 29 DC size. Pretty good. And of course the Beast. This Power Bright inverter is a monster. And I've got the TV on and it's not even showing any wattage. You can switch here to voltage. As you can see it's got 12 and a half or 1275 on there. So of course, the infamous warp core generator. Woo! <laughs> Let's go over here. I tell you, I really like this little Habit USB. It's a two-slot USB, five-volt outlet, and it's got high amperage output. If you ever want a a really good unit, I'd definitely give them. They're a little pricey, but man, I tell you, they work stupid good, especially when you're recharging your phone or iPhone or whatever uh, 
has more current output, so it really, really works well. I've been looking on eBay for another receiver for the garage stereo here, but man, I tell you, this thing is working so damn good. I'm, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. This thing's like 30 plus years old. So there we have it. Sorry about the long video here and rambling on, but uh, just having fun here. Still doing my solar stuff. And Justin in Australia uh, was talking about a desulfator for these battery banks, and I'm, I'm going to look into that. It might be a good idea. Put some wheels on that little trolley, little bench seat thing. Worked out pretty good. for a second. I'll show you what it looks like in Oklahoma. It was it January 22nd, 2015? Just had a little bit of crap weather blow through. I live in Moore, Oklahoma, right south of Oklahoma City in the suburbs. Little quaint little subdivision. You know, working class. You know, a lot of military and cops and firefighters out here. And I'm looking to other places, maybe Colorado. It's not bad, but it's also not very scenic here. It's, Oklahoma's kind of flat, windy. But I need a little bit more scenery. So, well, there's, there's my video for this morning. Y'all take care. And... Uh, let me know how I did, and I'll see you all later. Go Air Force.